During this lecture, we're going to talk about the psychology of the axe, particularly the tomahawk. But axe warfare is something that human beings are very familiar with, and we have a long, long history of being attacked and attacking others with the axe. Now, the axe is a very powerful battlefield weapon. It's different to most other weapons in that it is very, very primal. There's something basic about it that whilst I don't want to be stabbed or cut with a sword, for some reason my brain says I really don't want to be hit by that. So the axe has this innate fear generating capability in the opponent we face. And if we're facing the axe, we have the same psychology working against us. And it's something we can, cannot underestimate. It is a very, very dynamic tool. Now, the key thing with the tomahawk, or any axe for that matter, is I cannot wield an axe effectively with timidity. I can't be gentle with an axe. It is just not done that way. It doesn't work with that level of smoothness and gentility that makes this useful. The axe is an aggressive weapon. Its best use on the battlefield is with aggression. Controlled aggression, but aggression all the same. Whilst it can be used defensively, it is defense by attack that is applied when you're thinking about the axe in combat. Think, if you will, of what it'd be like to face someone wielding an axe like this who is just constantly trying to remove parts of your anatomy or bash this piece of sharpened steel into your body space. It's not something that you're going to take lightly. And it has, by necessity, the wielder must telegraph aggression. We punch that energy forward into this person's body. And that, I think, is one of the underpinning concepts of what makes these things so terrifying. It's the fact that not only am I wielding this dangerous weapon, but I have to wield it in such a way and with such aggression that I'm overwhelming from an emotional intelligence platform my opponent just with the energy my body is punching out into the space between us. All right? As I'm moving, it gives me a lot of mobility. A lot of angles can be changed. I can hook things with this axe. I can use it short and at long range. It's a very, very versatile weapon on the battlefield. In com combat, it's something that I can have as a backup weapon and suddenly bring this into the melee and have this very dynamic piece of equipment flailing around my body in an aggressive, aggro way at the opponent. And as soon as I start to wield this weapon, it actually gives me that persona. I cannot wield it gently at all. As a consequence, from a defensive point of view, there's not a lot of sort of trapping and movements familiar to other martial arts sort of circles that are gonna be useful when I'm using this. It's a very simple weapon. It's here and I stick it over there with great force. I don't need to over-engineer it. I don't need to lock, trap, pin, pressure point. This is just hit the target, the target falls down. That's as simple as it is. From our historical use of these things, we know it is incredibly effective on the battles, battlefield. If you have riflemen in the past lined up in three ranks, one of the, one of the great tactics used by many different organizations and cultures around the world was just to hurl these small axes into the midst. It create absolute mayhem. They had no choice but to duck and weave. It broke up their formations. As well as then the onslaught of energy coming into that group, possibly with secondary axes with them, or their swords or other primary weapon systems. It's been used throughout history with devastating effect. Now when you train with a tomahawk, you need to keep that psychology component firmly in the forefront of your thinking. If you train to use it just defensively, you are using a portion, a small portion of that, of the potential these weapon systems provide you with. It is a last resort weapon. 
it is there to really get in and mix it up when you need to. From a defensive point of view, as I said, it is attack that is the best defense in this case. So whilst we're going through the training on the course, keep that concept in mind. This is an aggressive tool. It is controlled aggression, focused aggression, not rage. We don't cross over into rage. Rage will let us lose control from a body function, body balance point of view, and an emotional standpoint. This is controlled aggression, but it is aggression all the same. So as we move through the course, please remember that, and please get that into your head in terms of this is not a tool